How's it going, everybody? We are back for more Master League here on Pez 17 with Venencia. Last time we left off, we had a pretty epic comeback in the Coppa Italia. We managed to find our way through after beating Old Milan. Uh, we beat them on aggregate 2-1. to one. Let's see ourselves through the next round of the Coppa Italia, which is huge for us. It's the farthest we've ever made in this competition. And now we need to finish off the month of January. Uh, as you remember, we cannot buy any players this transfer window, which is a bit unfortunate. The board has been very cruel to us this, uh, this uh, season so far. Um, but we do have four matches coming up, and the first one is probably the biggest one to date. Um, they're all going to be very tough matches, all in the top ten. But we're taking on third place, uh, Chievo first. So first things foremost... We'll go to the game board and see what we have to do for this upcoming match. Three, two, one, go. We get a six. And just luck. Okay. So we have to loan list a player. Not the end of the world, but it's not exactly the best news to hear. So we'll have to see who we're willing to uh, put out on loan. See if somebody wants to put them out for bid. Uh, this winter but there's only a few weeks left so we'll see you know we're gonna put bruno on loan list and here's why we've already extended his contract we could do sanense too but i do like to use sanense off the bench bruno's never gonna make playing time he needs more time to develop so let's go ahead and put him on place him on the loan list even though he's just resigned with us but uh, let's get him out on loan Oh, it's a gorgeous day here at the home ground for your Lions at the Penzo. It's Venencia, top of Serie B here in year number three, taking on Chievo, who are in third place. And uh, there's no love lost between these two clubs, folks. Uh, been pretty competitive amongst the two, and now we're fighting for the Serie B title here as we are pretty much just past the halfway point of year number three. Um, the Lions are struggling a bit with the, the departure of a lot of players before the window, and they're really looking to build for maybe something next season, but uh, hopefully they can carry themselves across the finish line here against a very dangerous Chievo side. Berlini. Fights for the overlap of Seccaroni. Crossed in. Brilliant header into the back of the net. Let's go. It is Visante who got the start tonight. He buries that header home. It's 1-0 to your Lions. After a great little play there. Absolutely stunning goal. And it just goes to show you that this team could just turn it on on a dime. Great little build up here. Just patience. Little one too. to Pirellini and... Uh, Seccaroni there, and a great ball in there from Seccaroni, getting the opportunity to start uh, with the rumors of his transfer going through, potentially. But uh, he's providing assists there to Vasante still, and it's 1-0. Mighty Casal. Now why Casal now. Crossed in, brilliant header, and there it is. We're getting some great service on the wings here. Perini has got himself a goal. And now it's 2-0. You can see just the patience of the build up here. Lee Trujillo dummy and the defenders in. And then Casal just doing all the work. And you can tell the keeper was going the wrong way there. Trying to play that cross. And he just couldn't get his mitt to it in time. Oh, Zuccolini was... Covered up quickly. Over the top. Amaru. He's going to hit it. Oh, first time. Rebound goes in. There we go. We've gotten three on Chievo, and it's been a blowout here. And the local boy gets a goal at home. You love to see it. It was a uh, just a class performance for Venencia here tonight. We just kept our foot on the gas. Didn't let Chievo fluster us in the attack, and... We're looking like we're going to get a shutout and a very convincing one here against the opposition that we're fighting in the table here. Take a look at this replay. Great effort from Wepu. Good hustle at the end of the game as Desante lays it off for Amaru. Come off the bench, gets the shot away, and then it's our boy Zanaro finishing it off there as 
You can say it's very unlucky there. Amaru should have scored there. But it was a great save initially. But the rebound just too juicy to give up. There it is. Full time whistle. We get a huge three points in the back here. We bounce back. We continue our momentum from the Copa Italia. With beating a huge, getting a huge win here in Serie A. 3 0 the final from home. Time to roll the dice. Three, two, one, go. We get a one. Transfer a loan list. We did a transfer loan list, so that means I have to look for a player to put on my short list. However, we are currently in a transfer ban because we've been naughty. So we can't buy any players at the minute. And welcome to a beautiful, clear evening here in Venencia as we play host to Patone here in 10th place in Serie B. But the momentum with the Lions has been something else to behold. Ever, ever since they got through Milan and the Coppa Italia, this team is on fire right now. It doesn't feel like anything can stop them at the minute. And don't forget, we've had three players leave this team that were quality players. And yet the team is still clicking like nobody's business. And Erickson's side has to be pumped as they get ready for another matchup here in Serie B to show them that they made business here in the league this season. Ah, lazy pass, though. Oh, no! And we give it up easy, and it's... Oh, this guy's been a thorn in my side for three years. It's Simi who scores the goal. This dude's always up there in contention for the goal, the most goals in the season, and we gifted him one right there. Just pull, I don't know what my defenders are doing. They just kind of were standing flat-footed and just got the ball poked off of him. Not the best start. And just gave it away, and bam. Just unlucky. But uh, to be fair, that was a that was a well, that was an opportunity taken, and he didn't miss his chance there. Gonna look for Capello, making a nice run. Capello looking dangerous here. Oh, there it is. Let's go. Palo Versa coming up strong into the box, and he'll bury it home. And we tied it up at one, folks. This team is just too good. We have too much offensive firepower in this squad to. You're not gonna beat us by a goal unless we're just missing all over the place, but. Look at the home supporters here at the Penzo. They absolutely love it here. And just like that, this match is t tied up at ones. Great effort there. And, man, Capello's been looking strong here. He's been causing havoc on the back line. He works his way into the box, lays it off beautifully. Keeper could do nothing as he's going the wrong way. And it's 1-1. Oh, oh, Palaverse is free. Palaverse is free for a second. Oh, but it's taken down. Ah. Oh, there we go. Finish it. Yes! Vesante with the fancy footwork would not be denied. And he has pulled the Lions up 2-1 here. That was just great effort there. Not giving up on the play. Keeping at it and just managing to do the keeper out of his boots. And bury it home from a very tight angle. We'll see it again. Palaversa, great effort getting in the net. Then it was all the hard work, just clattering in the box, just trying to get to that ball. He gets there. Keeper just had nowhere to go as he was waiting for the shot, waiting for the shot. And our boy Vasante, the little Spaniard, just kept his composure here. You know, he could have lost his balance, could have fallen down to the box. He stayed on his feet, kept after it. Dribbles around the keeper and into the back of the net. Let's go, boys. He's going to play it out wide to Vasante. We're on the counter here. Capello's got space for days here. Going to lay it off the top. Oh, oh, get there. Yes. Lee Drahino once again finds the back of the net. It's 3-1. And that was just a comedy of errors from their back line. They were stretched out way too thin there. But good hustle from Lee Trujino. 
The defender got his boot to it, but he finds a way to poke it around both the keeper and the defender and then just tap in for the nice, I guess you could call that, that's a tap in birdie if you'd ever see one. And we take a two goal lead. Oh, they're, they're, they're sprinting here. Gotta be careful. Oh no, he's walked around his man, the shot, and it's in the back of the net. They get one back. Unbelievable. They're not going to go down without a fight. And Ivan with the flips here. And well earned there because he really just took it to the house there. Kranjic missed the tackle. And then we had to scramble to defend it. And we were thinking he was going to lay it off. But he decided to curl it around the keeper for the back of the net. And all of a sudden, this game's tightened back up. It's 3-2 now. Oh, no. Oh, it's in the back of the net. It's three. Three all here. And, oh, the, we just can't do anything right now. We're just letting goals in. Oh, you just hate to see it. We've been playing fairly well, but we've, get up, we've given some gifts here. I think we've just been tentative with all the fouls. We just haven't been able to play our game and control the pace of the game. The tone have been all over us the second half, and they've equalized. It was a great headed effort there. Micah couldn't do anything to stop it. And just like that, we're back level. Now wide, Desante. Crossed in, headed up. Oh, it's off the cross. It went in. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Perini with the swift reply. Puts us back up by one. This game is absolutely bonkers at the minute. Goals just flying in there. The keeper, I thought he saved it, but he hit the underside of the crossbar and went in. What a goal indeed. We'll have to see that again on the replay because that was insane. Oh, my gosh. Unfortunately, this angle is not going to do it justice. Not much I can do about it with these stadium mods. You're going to have some funky replay angles. But what a fit. The keeper just pawed at it but I guess he didn't think it had enough juice on that header but it did oh the keeper screwed up there and there it is the final whistle's blown Venencia escape an upset here we get the three points but the referee blows the whistle all thanks to that keeper that keeper blew his opportunity here to get a point for his team Back to the game board here. Let's see what the dice roll gives us. Three, two, one, go. It's a one. We get a game plan change. Uh-oh. Change the attacking area. We have changed the formation to a 3-2-3-2 three, two, three, two formation due to the change in attacking area. We were playing wide. Now we're going to play down the middle, so that's going to warrant the formation change. Here's what the, our strongest 11 looks like with this formation. And it's going to be interesting now moving forward if we can uh, keep up our momentum with this uh, change in formation. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Leche's home ground here as they're playing host to first place Venice here at the Viva del Mare. And which should be an interesting matchup between two sides that are at the top end of the table. Leche are in contention for promotion slash playoff run. They've had a good season. Us, on the other hand, we've been on a roll this season. However, it appears that Erickson has made a tactical change to his lineup, abandoning the 4-3-3 in favor of a 3-5-2 formation. It's going to be interesting to see. It's worked well in the past for Erickson, but now he's going to have to see if he can, if this helps his defensive woes that seem to be plaguing this team all season. But kickoff is just a few moments away, so we'll see where how we end up in this one. And Venencia reset. Back to Felicoli. Zuccolini resets. He's going to bring it forward now. Looks for the run of Ellison. Ellison's got space. Asante shoots and he buries that one home. What a play for Venencia. It's 1-0. Asante continues his good run of form here this month. Another goal for him. He's once that top goal scoring 
route of the season and a great job by Ellison who's getting the opportunity to play with the formation change being out there on the wing makes a great cut on the inside and Leche are down a goal once again here as we take a look good formation here good build up Zuccolini springs Ellison he's got acres of space they close him down but DeSante was just lurking and he absolutely drove that ball with his laces into the back of the net. Top corner, goalie could, all he could do was sit and watch. And the Lions take the lead here on the road. And we booted up field, there's the full time whistle. Venencia survive. It wasn't an easy match, but it was an efficient one. Three points in the bag once again against the team just below us on the table. One nil the final. All right, it's finally time for the final dice roll for the month of January. Three, two, one, go. It's a three, and oh, no, we've hit the dilemma once again. This time we have to lose another scout. Um, cutbacks and sanctions abroad here, but this isn't the worst dilemma to have, so we can uh, move on from it. And here is just confirmation. We lose our scout here. We just have to just turn him off. Can't just re-enable him until we land on the space. And welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the final match of January here as Venencia trying to looking to expand their lead in Serie B, take on Peruga. We're having a decent campaign. But Venencia have been red hot. They have just been on a winning streak this month. And uh, even a change in formation hasn't slowed them down at all. But Erickson has made a few changes. He's keeping, he's rotating people in and out. And we're seeing some players that haven't been getting a lot of playing time in the previous setup. But now seem to be, the team is gelling quite nicely here. We'll see if we can continue our run of form here against Peruga. And nag another three points at home. It's recovered. Oh, Lee Trujillo going to finish it, and he will score. This team just continues to click over once they get the momentum. They smell blood in the water, and they just keep at it. And Lee Trujillo gets a goal. Rumors of him leaving this winter. He's had a lot of offers come his way, but... He's still working hard here, scoring goals for us here in Serie B, and it's 1-0 to your lines once again. As we just cannot seem to slow down our momentum here. We're grind away results. Great effort there. And Faruga have not made it easy for us. They've continued to put the pressure on us, but great ball in there for Verzoni, and just an even better finish from number 11 there. As Lee Trujillo finds the back of the net and gives the Lions a 1-0 lead at home. Micah boots it forward. Major Hino now. Oh, Frenze's loose. And he's going to bury it home. It's 2-0 now. And the man that is set to retire at the end of the season gets another goal for us here. When we get him an opportunity to play, he just makes some brilliant runs here. You can see the run he was made. He was already going forward. He's well past the defense. Takes his time with it. Curls it far post. And finds the back of the net. The goalkeeper was left dead to rights there. Just absolutely clinical finish there from our veteran. Oh, no. Defend it. Defend it. The shot. Oh, it goes in. Clean sheet over and done with. They get a very late goal here. Maybe just a consolation. But the substitute comes on and scores. That was a good effort. Peruga have been knocking on the door all day. But uh, finally, they break through just with a fail clearance here. And just like that, it is 2-1. Brilliant little effort here. Just couldn't get it out of the box. And we had players back. We just could not stop it there. And Micah stretched out in vain, but just couldn't. Get enough, get anything on it. It's a great finish. And there's the final whistle. 2 1 the final here. Your Lions get the job done here. Hang on for another three points and end the month of January on a high note here. All right, let's take a look at the table here after match day 23. We have 
pulled away here. We're now nine points clear of second place Chievo. At the start of this month, I think we were only three points gap between us and Chievo. Um, that includes us getting a victory over them, so we really pulled the gap out quite nicely there. Our defense is starting to settle down a little bit, but we are so close to scoring 50 goals already at this point in the season. Uh, we're just past the halfway point. The rest of the table shakes out. You can see we had a lot of top opposition this month we were playing, so uh, it really shows the metal of the squad. Now let's take a look at January, because this was a busy month for your Lions. Uh, we broke this over two episodes because we had seven matches, including our win in the Copa Italia round number three. Um, we started out the month not too hot with a draw, but then rattled off one, two, three, four, four wins in a row in the league. So very nicely done. Visante led the team with three goals this month. Our, all our forwards were really putting in the effort for goals. Capello led with the assist along with Palaversa. And Firenze and Sinense, two players that are usually bench or reserve players, getting the uh, best ranking of the month. All right, so that's the end of deadline day. Let's take a look at the team of the month. Uh, Capello and Nidrahino lead the way for the Venetians up top for the team of the month in Serie B. All right, so that is going to wrap up this episode, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally through the winter transfer window. Now we can focus on building the team for next season. Our transfer ban has been served. We only got rid of a few players. We sent a player out on loan, so that's good. Uh, we're going to have to see how we're going to strengthen the side moving forward. If we're going to, because right now we're we're projecting pretty high here. Fifty points at this point of the season is good opportunity for us to climb into Serie A next season. Can we have enough momentum to carry ourselves to the league title? we got a lot of matches coming up in February, including another round of the Copa Italia, so stay tuned for that. I'd like to thank every one of you for watching. If you've caught me watching playing this on the live streams, thank you so much for your support. As always, it's a pleasure playing this game for you live, and I hopefully will try to get a little bit more of that in the future. But until next time, folks, take care, and I will see you guys next time.